Okay, hear me out, guys. Beatrice went to the sacrificial altar, using Acolyte Shane to try and extract the planet's life energy. But that energy is most likely much too huge and impossible for her to utilize. But even still, Beatrice came empty-handed when she tried to obtain the energy. Which leads me to believe that she must already have a means of utilizing this energy. The secret to that is the sacrificial altar itself. What do you think about theory? Okay. <laughs> oh, what gives, Granny? I'm stupefied by your stupidity. What'd you say? Brother, please calm down. Shane, what did you explain? The sacrificial altar has always been an energy transmitting device. It's no secret. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, it was memory loss. <laughs> no. It's not that you don't know. You didn't keep up with your studies. I've explained this to you and Shane in the past. There is a cloister atop the, uh, the structure of the sacrificial altar. Since we're left behind by the elves. Supposedly, it's a mechanism which can reduce a life form to its energy level and transmit it to a faraway place. This supposedly sounds fishy. There hasn't been any record of the cloister activating. I really don't know. No, oh, whatever. We know enough. Hold on there. Where do you think you're going? Don't stop me, Granny. If we don't do this, everyone's memories will get taken away. My lineage as a priest will activate the cloister. One more hit for good luck. Stop trying to take all the credit. You're not the only one interested with this mission. I can't leave the activation to a good for nothing like you. Shane, you will activate it. I get to help brother with this fight. <laughs> they can't afford to be down a man just when they're about to attack the enemy's throat. I'm just taking the most definite and reliable approach. Come now, time is ticking. Let us head to the cloister. Before we go, we have a lot of money that I don't need because all my arms are maxed out and optimized. Uh, we don't need to buy dragon fossils anymore. So, I'm just going to max out on every single restorative item. <sighs> just in case, you know. And as for the rest of the money we have, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what else to spend it on, honestly. And if you remember when we were exploring here earlier, I went around here. And into this little room. Even if we are able to activate this shrine, do you really think it'll take you to the enemy's stronghold? You would risk your life over my good-for-nothing grandchild's silly little speculation. Hmm? Well, I don't think we have any other options at this stage. We have to believe. Or else there'd be no point in doing this. And, uh... I think we are the only ones capable of defeating this intangible dream demon, Beatrice. Probably true, yeah. I see. What makes you so confident you can beat this dream demon? I mean, we do have a good track record of defeating demons so far. <laughs> the four of us have been bestowed the power of the Arc Scepter. Oh, uh, and yes, we also have all of the mediums. I think we're qualified. You once told us this qualifies us to fight guardians, which in turn means that we are capable of communicating and interacting with an intangible force. You know, that logic tracks. We don't have a plan or a scheme to defeat the Dream Demon, but all I know is that we are the only ones that can fight her. This key is like an invitation from Beatrice. I'm sure this will take us to her. This is foolish. Absolutely foolish. Even if you do make it to our stronghold, you are most certainly bound for the jaws of death. Yet you still wish to go. One can still survive in the fields of death, if that's what it, that's what it means to fight. We will prevail. 
Brother, take this. The Exodus Orb. It's a sacred artifact from Baskar that allows you to escape from any dungeon or labyrinth. Whoa, awesome. I'll take good care of it. Could have done with that earlier. There's been so many times that I've had to run through, like, the, um, the, the sanctuary. Or when I was going through the world's footprints to get that, uh, that door. So many times I've just had to walk my way out. Would have been so nice to have the Exodus Orb. Bonus point, though. When you go through New Game Plus, I believe it carries over? I don't remember. I'll have, to, I'll have to double check on that one. But if it does carry over into New Game Plus, then that's pretty useful, honestly. <laughs> but as for the usage here, it basically just lets us escape from the uh, Nightmare Castle whenever we want. Because uh, the dungeon's long. It's big. There's a lot to it. There's, a, there's quite a few boss fights in there. So we're going to want to be escaping fairly often to rest up and resupply here. And when we're all done, I'll be back to return it. Just you wait. Alright, let's go. They say a fool may go to any extremes, but that may just mean it takes a fool to do the extreme. The guests have arrived. Let the grand ball commence. I am the Fortress of Seven. None shall penetrate our fortress of disasters. I have confidence in you, my disasters. I need a sacrifice to carry out my plan. My full guy needs to draw enemy from the sacrifice in order for it to exist. Now go, and help me create my planet. But do not underestimate their abilities. They have invoked guardians. Guardians. They will meet their match when they face the disasters. Please witness the power of our destruction. Yes, the Grand Ball is proceeding according to plan. Everyone must perform their own dance. Everyone, including that rowdy gang, the disasters, and even that man. The sensation feels as if we're inside a dream. So fanciful and surreal. Looks like we made it to the Dream Demon's domain. This is where it all started. And this is where it all ends. Welcome to the 25th Dimension, a sea constructed only by electric signals. In your words, the dream world. I'm glad to see the dream key will come in handy. Oh, oh that was Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice. As a dream demon, I'm unable to exhibit my powers in your physical world. But here in this dream world, I would be more than happy to dance with you. You're here to do just that, right? Because I know you all possess the power to kill me. Don't think you can play around people's lives because we can't see you. We're here to stop just that. We've come here by our own will. <laughs> I'm really glad you could make it. We'll have so much fun together. Welcome to my nightmare castle. Phil Guy is just beyond these doors. If we go back our if we make our way back here, we can go back any time. But we need to keep going so that we'll have a place to go home to. So yes, anytime you want to leave, just come to this door. You can go right back to Shane. Who I believe has a free heal. So, the thing with the Nightmare Castle is you have this hub area. Which branches off into a bunch of different areas. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's also a lot of puzzles. Oh no, not this room. Oh, of course, tradition, we've got to get an ambush. Thankfully, it's only one enemy, so we don't have to sit through an entire turn of animations. Devo Nova. Yeah, this place is really just a challenge of everything we've got so far. The enemies will be tough, the puzzles will be tough. But we've got free healing with Shane whenever we want. So it overall shouldn't be too bad. Good to Earth, eh? You're also weak to criticals! So we, we are at a pretty good level for the finale, I believe. I think the recommended level is about 60. Which we are at. And through the course of the bosses here. We should... Uh... Hmm. We should get even more levels. I don't know if there's any clue here. So usually in these kind of labyrinths, they give you some sort of hint. Something in the environment that tells you, hey, this way. I'm not seeing anything. See, I do have a guide for the puzzles here, just to make it so that I get through this in a reasonable amount of time. So the solution to this one is... Go left... Go up. Go right. Go bottom. And go left. I don't know how you're supposed to know the solution. Genuinely, I have no idea. Now there's a hole in the floor. Okay, so this one is top. Top right. And then left. And that's that. Let's get on with it, shall we? I am Disaster, the power that guards the Nightmare Castle. Let it be known that those who trust in the power of the Guardians, your life ends here. The Gale Claw tears up all hope. I am the power that whirls away all. So yes, each of the Guardians has their own element. This guy is Hwind. Alright, so... Once again we have the problem of I don't have any lucky cards. I can't boost my experience. We also don't need money anymore, so I won't be doing any uh, Geller carding. So I guess we just get on with blasting, really. So I believe each of the disasters has a similar attack pattern where they basically act kind of like... Um, well, you'll see the gimmick here, actually. Does this animation look familiar? Yeah, they're basically the same as the Guardians. 
Will they just swap out the model of the Guardians with the disaster model? <laughs> Which I just find to be hilarious, honestly. Weak to earth and water. Good to know. Well, I don't even know why I bother checking because, uh, oh, they don't have money anyway. I don't even know why I bother checking the elemental weaknesses because I don't really exploit it. I just rely on the Valiant strategy almost exclusively. <laughs> Winds of death. Yeah, from what I remember, the disasters themselves are not too difficult. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty uh, sure now that pretty much every boss fight is going to take four turns. Because once Jet runs out of ammo, he just does finest starts and wins, so... Technically, you could optimise that, and if you... I believe the best, like the most accepted strategy is give it to Clive. And then just never up, never upgrade his ammo, so he only has two shots. And then I think you upgrade the weight of the gun, so he can gattle more. I think that still works with unarmed, with no ammo. Then you just build up damage and then do fine starts on two turns. But hey, we're not playing optimally around here. Anyway, that is... That's that done. Yeah, now the puzzles are turned off when you go back. So it just lets you walk right through. Seems like there should be something there. I think we can just continue for a little bit. Let's do the uh, disaster fire next. So the top right door. So that's the door to go to Beatrix. I think you can do that right away. I don't think you have to beat all the disasters, but if you do, it makes her weaker. I think there's something like that going on here. Uh, light the unlit candle. Ah, valves. Okay, so this one is turn the left valve to the left once. And I turn the right valve to the right once. And turn the middle valve twice in any direction. Bridge. <sighs> this is actually easier with the directional buttons. <laughs> Alright. And generally each of these disaster puzzle rooms is also like it's two puzzles. So you have like an easy one and then you have an advanced hard mode one. The trick with the Gale Cross here is that it has a cooldown. Oh, close one. They have a moving grappling puzzle. So we have a 
<laughs> That's clever. They don't utilise the jump shoes all that much, but it's not bad when they do. There's some fun puzzles with it. Just make sure there's no treasure up here. Well, most likely this is just the way we leave. But yeah, that's it. Disaster fire puzzle done, and now... On to the man himself. Alright, elemental weaknesses swapped over. Mm. I am Disaster, the power of the guards of Nightmare Castle. Let it be known that those who trust in the power of the guardians are laughing here. The fiery rage ignites the heavens. I am the power that scorches all. Yada yada yada. Anyway, let's not even bother with uh, analyze this time. Let's just get straight into the Valiant. <laughs> we would like to show off them doing their um, uh, special moves at least once. Because even if it is the same as the uh, Guardians, it is funny seeing the the different model in there <laughs> and how they try to match up the animations with it. I just find that sort of stuff amusing. And here we go. Good to see this one. Because they actually did try to match up animations with it. Which is pretty neat for a one-off boss fight. One more turn. The only problem is Valiant might wear off. Well, not that it matters, because Jet's got full health, because he's got complete fire ward. <laughs> Honestly, even if you have like two people with the elemental weakness or the elemental resist, uh, it makes these fights kind of a joke. Because it really just means you, you, you'll you never die. <laughs> and even without the elemental weakness, they're not doing a whole lot of damage to Gallows. So, yeah. These fights, not too difficult. The final boss, however, much more difficult, so... I'll want to beat these things for the experience, if nothing else. Anyway, let's just end it, shall we? Pretty much nothing survives um, finer starts at this point. The second disaster down. I shot off the Exodus Orb. Just very quickly, go to the exit. Examine the door. Go through our door, we can return to our world. Let's return to Filgaia. And just like that, we can traverse between the two worlds whenever we like. If you feel at ease when I think you might head back to the field of death, what are you going to do? So we need to prepare. And to prepare, we can talk to Shane. We can heal, we can save, and we can... I'm good for now. Alright, I'm ready. 